Hey there and welcome back to another episode. My name is Sandra. I always say this at the beginning of my videos. If this is your first time here, I hope you would consider subscribing to my channel. A huge thank you to every single one of you who have already done that. Thank you for your comments, watching the video, sharing them. Thank you so, so much. Let's jump right into this one. I have a feeling that it's gonna get crazier and people are gonna just start losing it. Before I start reacting to this one, let me just say from the get-go that I am sure that I'm going to say some things that people might not like. Um, but again, we have our views and that's fine. This whole, the trans topic is very dicey. Um, people can be very easily offended. Um, but again, it's a free world. We have to be able to express ourselves with respect, obviously. But um, I just wanted to say that before we get into this video. Yeah, my next claim is that uh, trans women are not women. Okay. What's your name? Sam. Nice to meet you. Uh, let's define our terms. Uh, a woman is an adult female with XX chromosomes. You tell me what is a woman. I think a woman is somebody who identifies as a woman. Got it. So that's not a definition. That's like saying a table is something that identifies as a table. Give me an objective definition no, of how... No, it's not. A table is an object. Well, tell... tell a table about... can't identify as anything. Well, it doesn't have no, no, but choice. You have to give me an objective definition of what a woman is. If I decided right now that I wanted to identify as a woman, I would be a woman. Okay, okay but that's not, that doesn't answer the question. So do you see how flimsy this can get? You know... Think about it. He's saying that I can wake up tomorrow and identify as a woman and I can be a woman. That is just a biological fact that you cannot ignore just because you feel a certain type of way. With all due respect, you cannot wake up and decide to be a woman. And also, if he thinks that, it makes me laugh respectfully at people when they say that gender is not just something you turn on and off. Because if you say that I can wake up tomorrow and identify as a man, well then that means that's just something you guys just decide. It isn't actually who you are. I know, but, but right said, now I'm a man, right? So if that happened right now, I'd be a woman. So is. Once, once a person makes the decision to identify as a woman, Got it. No, a woman. I, that, that's a separate issue. What is a woman? That, that's the definition. No, I know. So when did that become a valid statement to say? Like, how can I just say a woman is someone who identifies as a woman? What is a woman? You're still not answering the question. I am identifying as a woman. What does that mean? Explain it to me. What am I identifying as? The question still stands and you're not answering it. But you have to tell me what... A person who identifies themselves as a woman. But you have identi how do you know that they are that thing? How do I, I don't need to know what they, no, 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 I can no, ask them if I want to know. to know. But there needs to be, you need to Did tell me what that thing out? is though. Somebody who, okay, you, you need, okay you sorry, we're not me, getting anywhere. We're not getting anywhere. Well, no, no, we're no, no it's important because it's like saying a giraffe is a thing that looks like a giraffe or a coyote is a thing that looks like a coyote. It's called circular reasoning. You have to give me a actual definition. I don't have to, I, I did give you a definition. No, 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 you said that a woman is something that thinks they're a woman. That doesn't give me a definition. That's simply. What would you consider a definition then? an adult female with XX No, 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 I mean like, what, what makes that a definition? Hello. Hi. J Juliana? Juliana, I yeah. Okay. Um, I don't necessarily think that you can define a woman just by her chromosomes. Women are so much more than that. They come in a variety of shapes, sizes, colors. And I don't necessarily think that you can count out somebody who's trans just because they don't have a certain set of chromosomes. There are also people who are born I'm trying to, I'm drawing a blank. Okay. Um, Intersex? Yes, So X, yes. X, Y, or Y, or, Y, X. Or just, yeah, yeah or like sure. X, zero so, with so nothing. So, so natural mutations upon the binary, essentially, right? Yes. So, but, but they don't have both sex organs that both, that both operate, right? Yeah, but that also, I don't think necessarily works, right? Because if it's X, One just is X, and there's the a... So okay, you're either that's... more male or more female, right? So you might have both a penis and a vagina, but there's never been a case of someone who can impregnate themselves. Okay, I also don't necessarily think that uh, works for this situation, but um, I also want to say that one of my best friends is trans, and I would say that she's more of a woman than I am. I think that women define themselves by multiple things, not just their sex organs. If somebody asked me who I was as a woman, I would not say I have a vagina. T totally I, fair. So I you, would... No, I think you said something smart. So you said that person is more of a woman than you are. Therefore, you're grading off a definition of something accomplishes womanhood. What is that? I think it's... Well, that's the thing too. And I, I do think that gets a little complicated, right? Because there are 
social norms for a gender, but I do think we try to break that, right? No, for it's sure, just, but, but you said that specific friend is more of a woman than you are. Why? I think she's a better person than me. I think she so lives life. So women are life. better people? She's a better woman than I Okay, now let's not be playing John Money here, okay? He popularized the whole nature versus nurture debate and in his view, social norms and, you know, like the environment in which you, you grow up actually has more to say about your gender and he did an experiment, guys, on a human being. Um, someone who was, his name was David Raymer, I believe. He was, he had complications during circumcision and at the advice of this diabolical man, David's parents decided to raise him as a man, as a woman, sorry. So he went by the name Brenda. But for the longest time, he felt so out of place. Like, there, he could not connect with this, you know, person that he had become, right? Until someone else advised the parents to tell him the truth. And they told him the truth. And guess what he said in this um, interview that he did with Oprah a couple of years ago before he died? He said that everything started to make sense. I wasn't crazy anymore. So for you to suggest that just like my environment determines my gender not only has that been proven wrong and untruthful like no basis like there is no factual evidence for that also you're just um you're reducing who we are as humans made in the image of god to just merit like flimsy things. i am i'm not saying women no, are no, better but no, people no, but, no, but what, what what makes a woman a woman because you said she's more of a woman than you are mm. so i want to know what that definition is right okay i'm gonna let somebody else That's go all good. <laughs> thank you well, explain what you mean by that, though. Okay. All right, Parker, what is a woman? Uh, a woman is an adult human person that has a desire to be in accordance oh, with a particular set of social and cultural norms that are typically associated with a female sex. Now, it. define a man. Associate, well, define looking, a man. You're, you're looking at one. XY chromosomes in a Okay, but does, does God the Father have XY chromosomes? Okay, back Prior to incarnation? We, we literally have a religious he's topic a, He's later. a father and he's he him, but we, he's not we, a man? We have he is so rude, people. Like extremely rude and the fact that he's talking super fast if you think that equates intelligence i'm sorry to break it to you boo boo it doesn't you spewing rubbish talking super fast thinking you can confuse us but it's not working it's just not gonna work i'm sorry let me let me get down to the root of it do you think that anybody Pivot. can become a woman um, I think that anyone who meets my criteria is a woman. What's your criteria again? Again, adult human person that has a desire to be in accordance with a particular set of social and cultural norms that are typically associated with the female sex. Can society ever be wrong? Sure, but like it's, 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 a, it's a desire to be in accordance with Got a it. set of social and can cultural I, norms. I... That's it though. Think about it, you guys. Okay, this one was very, very intense. Intense on so many levels. Um, I think that, you know, just talking about sex and gender, it, it's been it's been like super convoluted in the last couple of years that it, it's a very trigger triggering topic for a lot of people. And I think that to, to a certain extent I can understand. But the reason why I think is triggering is that we don't even agree on like, you know, some basic truths like it's everything is so relative. But you cannot disagree on the fact that there is a biological explanation to why male are male and females are females. Okay. And I think you, you can also argue that from a scientific, you can argue that from a religious standpoint, you can argue that from a scientific standpoint. Okay. But I also believe that we should not disregard the fact that people today have gender dysphoria. That is a reality. Anyways, you guys, there you have it. Even though there were points where I felt like th there was just this this condescending tone um, from the 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 college students, I still think that Charlie held his ground. Um, he made his point, and um, uh, I really did appreciate it. And I I urge you guys to engage in these conversations with your friends, like family people, you know, college roommates or whatever. We need conversations, you know, more today more than ever, because it, it's 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 so easy to just be locked up in your I guess bubble. Um, if you believe something to be true and you have evidence for that truth, don't don't hide it, you know. Be be unapologetically, you know, forthcoming. Talk to people, engage in these conversations because we need to remember that before anything, we're humans. Okay. Um, and you were made male and female in the image of the Lord. That's it. Um, thank you so much, you guys, for um, tuning in to watch the second um, reaction video. 
I think I will do one more. Um, but anyways, I will see you guys in the next video and do not forget to like this video, share it, and obviously subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys have a good day now. Bye.